The dirty doctor. But this dirty doctor is now the only hope for your precious little girl. Your girl just had a failed abortion. What did you say? Abortion? How dare you? You are slandering her name. All of you. I will file a complaint about this. Because that is not possible. Tell me that is not true. Well, it's true. Why are you so gloomy, my daughter? Pray to our Lord Jesus and immediately your soul will feel better. He will not understand. But maybe she will understand. My most gracious queen, my hope to the mother of God. Knowing my transgression, please solve it however you wish. For I have no other intercessor or protector besides yourself. <gasps> My daughter, what is wrong? My daughter, what's wrong, huh? Yes, Edward, I'll give you more medicine. Just keep it for now. Don't sell for two or three days. Let all the fuss with the check subside. They can, um, be used for pregnant women, but don't prescribe them, so you're not accountable. Do you think this can be dangerous to a patient? Evika, I'm not ready to become a criminal. Edward, what are you talking about? There's no crime. This is a common medicine, just without a license since they're not yet approved. But you need to be safe. Well, you know this culva -juck. God, I'm so tired of her. Then don't just sit there. Don't wait for her to destroy you. Push her out, hmm? <laughs> Can you tell me how? Well, just make sure that she has to break the rules on the job all the time. And that Vadim is obsessed with rules. He won't tolerate that for long. <laughs> Angelica Petrenko, 24 years old. You try and bleeding. Blood pressure 70 over 40 and falling. How long has she been unconscious? Not sure. She was brought in like this. Yurkovich, was he called? He's coming. Oh, here he is. Angelica Petrenko, born in 93. She's having a miscarriage. Quickly, put an ice pack on her stomach. We need to try and stop the bleeding. Illegal abortion? Looks like it. We need to get her to the operating room. We need to do curatage of the uterine cavity. There may be massive bleeding. We don't have enough blood for this. Then tell Inga to order from the bank. We're wasting time. What? Yurkovich is worried about the patient? Maybe he's sick. So we will receive this amount by the end of the quarter. <laughs> well, I promised that you would like it. I like it very much. Well, from what floor do you plan to start the conversion of wards? I do plan to redevelop your office to start with. So do you now think that I need an anti-bed sore mattress? <sighs> I believe that the chief physician's office is the hallmark of the hospital. Look, you have a hole in the wallpaper. It's not solid. You don't wear leaky socks, do you? The doctor's business card 
Victoria Vladimirovna, is his work. Start re-equipping the gynecology wards, if you would, please. As you wish. Thank you. Are you done yet? If you keep spinning, we can sit for a week. What's taking so long? All right, we have to do the surgery. Which one? To pull out your nose hairs. Mm -hmm. Look, are you thinking well? Well, yes. What is 243 by 327? No. Wait, wait. Head. Hmm? All right, you're free to go. Um, and you, <clears throat> do you have to discharge me already? I just got another head injury. I'd like to get a check. Please? All right. Um, somewhere around here. Or here, here. Oh, the storyteller. Mr. Hans Christian Anderson, you're free to go. Please do keep me in here. I just can't go outside right now. I'll come back here anyway. Just probably by the morgue. Problems? I'm sorry, but I can't keep you without reason. If you have problems, tell your parents. But I don't have parents. I grew up in an orphanage. Wait a second. Okay, follow my finger. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You have a concussion. You'll have to lie down for a few more days. I'm sorry. Thank you. Concussion, huh? You're too alert to be shaken up. Yes, I asked the doctor to give me another day. Mm. He said it was a matter of my life or death. And now I have... One short day, to win the heart of a very beautiful lady who works in this department. Do you think that's enough time, or is it too short? Well, that depends on the lady. Mm-hmm. You see, I'm not experienced in matters of the heart yet, and I'm uh, a knight in battle. Um, in short, I won't dare open up to her yet. I'm going to need courage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My daughter, Angelina Patrenko, do you have her? Oh, uh, Angelina Petrenko, we don't have, but Angelika Petrenko, born in 1993. She's in intensive care. You can talk to her doctor, Edward Vitalievich Yurkovich, gynecologist. Gynecologist? <laughs> yes. Where is the ambulance that brought her here? Tell me. Why would a woman be taken to such a doctor, a gynecologist? Who's in charge here? If it was a man that was brought to the gynecologist, then that would be strange. The main doctor here is Oksana Petrivna. Her office is up the stairs to the right. She's a character. Mm hmm. You were saying. My little girl shouldn't be going to. A gynecologist. She was brought up in faith and raised with obedience. There is nothing she could have done that would require this kind of intention from the dirty doctor. But this dirty doctor is now the only hope for your precious little girl. Your girl just had a failed abortion. What did you say? Abortion? 
How dare you? You are slandering her name. All of you. I will file a complaint about this. Because that is not possible. Tell me that is not true. Well, it's true. Where am I? Don't you worry. You're in the hospital. You were unconscious. But you are better now. And this is great. We will operate on you. Curatage of the uterine cavity. It's a simple operation. After we're done, you can go home. But... Can I still have children someday? We will see. I really do hope so. But it looks like you don't really want to have them. Or do you? <laughs> it's not that. It's me. Myself. In general, I can't have children. Yes. You know what? I'm sorry, but how else can you not have children? I mean unmarried. My mother will curse me. Should I call your mother Tanya, is it? <laughs> yes. But no one has called her that for so long. She has taken the name Serafima. Yeah, that does sound like her. Ah, well then, let's try to convince your mom that you're actually a good girl, okay? Yes. <sighs> Women always complain that married people stick to them. But who feels sorry for us men? Nobody. Why feel sorry for you? You don't understand at all. And I already thought that I had met a kindred spirit. Here, take a look at this cast. <laughs> gypsum is like gypsum. It's white. It's not just plaster. It's practically a monument to my bitter fate. Well, think about it. I meet a girl and then... Everything's fine with her. You know it'd be going to the movies, walking under the moon. I'm already thinking about introducing her to my mother. Well, with my mother, she already knows her own. And then suddenly, her husband appears. Men! What about me? What? I had nothing to do with it. And now, I have suffered innocently. <sighs> and where in our time, tell me, can I find a decent... Beautiful, kind, and unmarried woman. <clears throat> Tasha. Vovchik. <laughs> <laughs> Tasha, make me strong. I lost the patient. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <gasps> I found him. <laughs> You see, Tasha, I prescribed a CD scan of the patient's brain, but there are no results. Either the patient ran away, or there was no brain. You have a concussion. Go to the ward. Go to the ward. Uh, <clears throat> Oleg's eye. I think you put a cast on the wrong place for him. Exactly. <laughs> So you want coffee? Yes, please. <laughs> One moment. Where's the blood for Petrenko? Is it coming? But they couldn't answer, so they said to call back later. Why can't you just give me a straight answer? Are we going to get it or not? I'll call them back right now, just wait. Uh, hello, uh, 13th Hospital. Yes, that's right. They have no blood. None at all, it was badly needed. The, the plane arrived with many wounded. The hospital took everything clean. What am I supposed to do now? Call the regional one? I do not know, to the transfusion points. Edward, please calm down. I'm flying to the regional one myself. I'll try to negotiate. <laughs> Maxim Madrievich, there is no blood. I've been saying this. Nothing? Then let them hand over their own. 
Somewhere there must be this damn third negative. Inha, if someone comes by ambulance, tell them to look for the surgeon on duty. And I'll, um, tell Oksana myself. Maxim Andreevich. Thank you. Mm-hmm. He won't find any blood. When I called the bank, they said that all the blood was taken around the city. Everything was cleaned out. Yurkovich, what happened to you? I don't recognize you. Excuse me, what's wrong with her? So young and beautiful. Blood loss. Are you related to the patient? Where is my daughter? Can I come inside to talk to her? She's unconscious. If you put on a robe, you can enter. But with the doctor's permission. Lord have mercy. She looks so pale. Young man, do not mention the Lord's name in vain. Especially you, nor this lousy girl. When will she wake up? Where's the doctor? Why are you doing this? She's your daughter. For what? First of all, she already knows everything. Second, if everything I've been told you is true... She's not my daughter anymore. Come in. Oksana Petrivna, may I? Yes, yes. This young girl... I really... I really need her too. Well, you know, for her... for her to survive... Well, sit down. I've never seen you like this. Do you have anything to do with her? I think that she's my daughter. Well, she looks exactly like the woman I was together with. Hmm, I see. I'm sure that she's my girl. Looks just like Tanya, one face. I was thinking maybe we can look for blood in um, our hospital, you know, from the staff. Inha, announce to the whole hospital, to all the staff, that blood is needed. Type O negative. O negative blood. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Blood transfusions? Of course. Now the whole hospital is looking for blood of the right type. Don't worry, we'll definitely find it. The group is rare, but not unique. You just don't understand, do you? Now you and your entire hospital will face judgment soon. The tribe of the unintelligent. I don't understand. The apostles say, abstain from blood. Blood makes atonement. For the soul is in it. My lost daughter is undergoing atonement. Because her sins are very heavy. Woman, are you completely insane? We're here trying to save your daughter's life, and you're here... Well, I don't even have enough words. Have you thought about her soul? Why don't you call your superiors? Tell your superiors that I will present to them an official document that reads refusal of blood transfusions. This conversation's over. Wait, this is out of the question. We're not in the Middle Ages. Obscurantism. Mm-hmm. Such people used to be burned at the stake. For real. Unbelievable. That's all you've been able to do? We just started here. Prepared the room. And furniture had to be moved out. Prepared it, huh? We won't get a ward at this rate until winter. Listen, I don't understand. Do you want us to be hasty? Or do you want high quality? We are not some run-of-the-mill business. We do everything thoroughly. 
And besides, didn't you get a kickback? Yeah, you got it. So do not interfere with our work. Don't shout like that. Have you gone crazy to be shouting about such things? You're the one who was pushing me. You brought this upon yourself. Remember that. Is that so? Obscurantism is when they forget the law of God and live according to the laws of the demons. What is going on here? Oksana Petrivna, this is the mother of our patient Petrenko. Uh, she's threatened to bring us to court if, uh, if we give blood to her daughter. Uh, she will sign an official document, refusal for religious reasons. Do you understand what you're doing? Your daughter may die. What court? What kind of refusal, huh? First the district, then the heavenly one. Well, deal with the heavenly one yourself. And we'll talk about the regional one now. On what basis do you sign the refusal? Me? Are you her guardian? I'll show you what you need to see. Here's the document. Not my signature, but hers. My daughter signed it herself, in the presence of a notary. It's all legal. Come with me. This is so insane. I can't believe it. You can go now. Come back in three days, okay? What happened to you? Does your arm hurt? No. A jealous husband found you here too, which you didn't know about? I knew everything, Doc. I'm not an idiot. Doc, I want to ask you something. Ask away. I'm asking you about blood transfusion. I just heard that. I heard about it also. You have? I learned this today. Well, Doc, I'm sure you haven't heard this one. It's all just so crazy to me. She's kind of a sectarian or something. Sectarian? Yeah. I see. And her mother is the same. Um, so, Doc, you can somehow circumvent this ban. Well, somehow. Cancel, I don't know, help the girl? It's a shitty business. You can circumvent the ban through the courts. But the woman with the scythe is impatient. She may not wait for the court's decision. So what? Are you just going to let her die? What about the Hippocratic Oath? To tell the ill and all that. Hippocrates worshipped other gods, unfortunately. How's she doing, Doc? We need surgery urgently. So what, is there no one to do it? Is the operation expensive? Dangerous. Without insurance by transfusion, it is dangerous to perform surgery, and there's no blood yet. Well, here it is. A whole tank of the third negative. I've passed the test, and they'll be ready. You just talk to your superiors and let them allow the transfusion. Because the girl will die. That beautiful girl. Young man, it's not that simple here. I'll talk, of course. This girl is not a stranger to me. She's mine. My patient, and I must, um, uh... I'm not a stranger. Look at that. He's worried about his own daughter, and they say that doctors are soulless. How is she? Not good. Any news? The mother is adamant. That's what I came here for. I'll talk to her. Tanya, where is she? You haven't talked to her yet? No. Is she here? Why didn't she look for me first? I'm a doctor. Dirty doctor. Excuse me? That's what your Tanya calls all gynecologists. And in general, she's no longer Tanya, but uh, Serafima. I know. I know that I can convince her. Inga, have you seen the mother of Pachenko? Mm, I think she went to the cafe. How do I recognize her? There's... There's a lot of people out there. You find her, Edward Vitalievich. She's the only one looking like that. She has a scarf around her head, up to her eyebrows. You can't go wrong. Here, take one.
Tanya? Serafima, did we know each other in a previous life? No, no, no. I don't think so. Are, are you the mother of Angelica Petrenko? Her name is Angelina. Serafima Mikhailovna. Simply, Serafima, we don't use patronymics. Both you and we have one Heavenly Father. Let only His name be glorified forever. I am not an expert in rituals. I'm a doctor, and I'm telling you as a doctor that your daughter may die if she does not get surgery because of your stubbornness. Oksana Petrovna, the results of Petrenko. Thank you. Oh, yes, Max? There's nothing there? Well, we're looking here, too. Go on, go on. Go and check it out. Although I was told that all the transfusion plants are empty. All right, yes, go ahead. Thank you. It is his will because she has sinned. Her blood is her redemption. If you pour someone else's blood on her, she will definitely go to hell. If God wants to punish someone, he takes away their mind. That's about you. Don't mention his name in vain. Don't you know, my spiritual mentor, Father Adrian, is a very wise and a holy man, and he teaches us and does not demand anything that is not in the book. And in the book, blood is redemption. The blood of an animal or the blood of a human. The spiritual father teaches us this. And the heavenly father will allow your daughter to die? If he did, then yes, she would die. Our spiritual father gives us new names and we live by new laws. And since he knows your worldly laws well, my daughter herself signed this document. Refusing a blood transfusion is her solution. You can actually cancel it if... your daughter is unconscious. In this situation, you are her medical attorney. The decision is yours. There is no decision for me to make. The decision is up to the Heavenly Father and my spiritual shepherd. For some reason, I'm sure that if Angelica dies, you will be the one to go to hell. I need the official permission of the chief physician to perform the operation in this case. Prepare the OR, I'll assist you, Edward. Before I get permission, be sure to make an entry in the card about the need for this operation. Yes, of course. May I? Oksana Petrivna, what's going on? What? You seem to have decided to jeopardize the reputation of this very hospital. Oh, it seems you already know. Let me take a guess. Victoria Vladimirovna told you already, hmm? Victoria Vladimirovna fulfills her duty because she understands me. And taking kickbacks from contractors is her way to the hospital's new economic policy. How does she understand it? If you know of something that uh, I should know, then you have to write a letter. But that's not the issue right now. Now it's a question of a patient's life or death. About the patient, follow the protocol. We're already injecting her with all the needed drugs according to the protocol to treat DIC syndrome. But the same protocol also says to remove the source of bleeding. Otherwise, all other treatment will not work. Listen here, Kovalchuk. I understand that you, that you want to operate. If I were you, perhaps... 
I would also like to. But you know perfectly well that there is only one rule for cases like this. No blood, no surgery. We will administer the solution, blood substitutes, everything that's on hand. Oksana, Petrivna, you understand the risk? Yes, I understand everything. But the risk is justified. I would think that you know that as well as I do. Well, this is your responsibility. Pressure's dropping again. It doesn't seem to be bleeding anymore. And we've removed the remains of the fetal egg. I'll do an audit now. Here, I found some blood. The third is negative, as ordered. Come on, put the blood on. We can't. She has a signed refusal for a transfusion. Are you kidding me? No. The mother does not give permission for religious reasons. Yurkovich, put the blood on. The girl could die. Maybe it will be fine. I already stopped the bleeding. The body is young. It can cope. Cardiac arrest. Defibrillator, quickly. 200. Clear. Two hundred more. Let's go. Adrenaline. If not for this crazy sectarian, if I'd given my blood, maybe they wouldn't need to operate on her. Well, the operation was necessary anyway. But then, it's risky without the blood. Very much. I wanted to help her, to save her, you know that? Do something really heroic, and not just... Not just with your tongue to grind. You wouldn't be able to help. I have some bad news for you. Let's go talk. I was tested a month ago. And I'm careful. Doc, I'm always careful. This is the end. What's the end? HIV's not the end. You can live a very long time with appropriate maintenance therapy, of course. Look, medicine doesn't stand still. Pneumonia and tuberculosis were previously incurable. Look, you're a tough kid. Don't bury yourself yet. I don't care about myself. I can't help to save this girl now. I'm sorry. Father, baby, he's right. She won't go to heaven anyway. Or even so. Yes, Father, I understand. The veil of tears. But the veil of tears is better than the hell of fire. If my mother could only... If she could only help me now. She would send all the spiritual fathers to your fiery hell. Our heavenly father. She would send her soul to any kind of evil spirit. Yes, clean or unclean of any kind. Just to be able to help me. But she can't do that. She gave her life for me once before. She gave me life. She gave her life to me. And she died while giving birth to me. And you. What do you even live for?
Doctor, I've been thinking about... In general, who am I to decide who will live and who will die? Our faith doesn't allow blood transfusions, and you know that. But if... But if that's the only choice she has, I agree. You're late now, Mom. Time of death, 1653. I'm not sorry. Victoria Vladimirivna, they asked me to give this. Thank you. Inha. Yes, Victoria Vladimirivna. Uh, what about this patient, Petrenko? Is the operation over? Uh, patient Petrenko died during surgery. Just 11 minutes ago, a cardiac arrest. Oksana Petrivna is just riding an epicrisis. If you want, you can come in. <laughs> Why? I'll read the epicrisis later. What did I tell you? It's a disaster. The patient died on her table. Can you imagine what this medical error means for our hospital and for our plans? Vadim Mikhailovich. Victoria Vladimirovna, unfortunately people die. Not only from medical errors. No need to throw such accusations. You are just jumping onto conclusions here. Hmm. Um, did you give her permission for this operation? I didn't sign anything. But yes, I gave permission. That's great. Vadim Mikhailovich, you're very fond of facts. So the facts are as follows. Dr. Kolvachuk, without your official permission, decided on an extremely risky operation. As a result of which, a patient of our hospital, Petrenko Angelica, born in 1993, died. And the protocol? dictates that we must take action. As the chief physician, you are obligated, Vadim Mikhailovich. Stop pushing me. I know my responsibilities. You all know that we had an emergency. And patient Petrenko died during the operation. The operation was extremely risky. It was a reasonable risk. It is not for you to decide, Oksana Petrovna. Not even me. An internal commission will determine whether this risk was justified, and whether the actions of Yukrovich and Kovalchuk followed protocol. Yurkovich, do you have anything to say? Edward, it's okay. I made the decision. I acted on the instructions of Oksana Petrovna and provided a conclusion. Within the protocol, the risk of the patient's life, in case of inactivity, was high. Oksana Petrovna? Edward Vitalievich is right. Everything was within the protocol, and on my instructions. Well then, if that is the case, the Commission will determine whether your actions were correct. But I warn you. If they find a violation or a medical error, you will be suspended from work. <laughs> oh, until then, will they still work? Yes. Oh, great. If there are no more questions, you can all go. You okay? Do you want to talk? 
Okay. Ian, huh? Yes, Victoria Vladimirovna. Are you still at the hospital? Uh, yes, Victoria Vladimirovna, but I was just about to call you. I didn't want to disturb you. Uh, the thing is, I need to uh, leave a little earlier today. I asked my senior to cover for me. So, Inha, listen here. Does this patient who died during surgery today have any relatives? Oh, yes. A mother, if you can call her that. Imagine she refused to consent to a transfusion. Inha, fewer words. Do you have any contact with her mother? But you see, she doesn't live in an apartment like all normal people, but in a church house. And here I found it. The Church of the Third Angel. <laughs> Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. Have a nice evening. <laughs> Wait, Victoria Vladimirovna, so can I leave early today? Inha, go with God. Just go. My queen of heaven, my hope to the mother of God. My images are knowing, please help me, for I have no greater, no greater intercessor. Father Adrian, my daughter, Sister Angelina is now dead. Sister Seraphima, pray to our Lord Jesus, and your heart will feel much better. He, he won't help. It's me. It's all my fault. It's my fault. The Lord is one. He knows everything and understands everything. What has happened is indeed a great test for a mother's heart. But I am with you. The whole flock is with you. May the power of and the light of our faith strengthen you and come with us. And the Lord decided to take our sister Angelina. Then this is indeed his will. It is not your fault. No one is to blame. Unfortunately, that's not true. And who are you? I came to tell you the truth and open your eyes to the true culprit of the tragedy that happened to your daughter. We must be strong and restore justice. I understand you are believers. God will judge. Jesus taught you to forgive. But we are now talking about a doctor who can still harm many servants of God. The death of your daughter is her fault. Unfortunately, we can't get Angelina back, but this case should be made public. And I'm afraid it won't be the only death if she is not stopped. Her? Who, pray tell, are you speaking of? That would be Dr. Oksana Petrivna.